For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Installing the NCPA client on the Windows machine. So I already downloaded this NCPA client. So just set up double click and next next and you can uh, add the token value here. So whatever the token value. So it should you should remember the token value here. So I said Windows password W is in capital and P is in a capital. Then next next though there is no options required to give or uh, just only the token value and uh, next next so it takes a few minutes okay the ncpa installation is completed now go to services and uh, restart the service once so the ncpa service you have to restart ncpa listener you have to restart restart so now services has been restarted so that's it so we have installed the ncpa client and started the service successfully let's jump into the uh, najo server and add the configuration over there so here i am in a uh, najo server by default uh, check underscore ncpa.py file would be not exist so we have to download it from the uh, Nachos uh, location so I just downloaded this uh, check underscore ncpa.tar file and extract this and after extraction so you have to move this file check underscore ncpa.py to the slash usr local Nachos lib axec so that is the command file so now let's uh, run a sample command and check that either uh, the Python is working fine or not. Is there any dependencies missing? It's working fine. Execute the uh, check underscore ncpa commands from the uh, Nagios core to ensure that the communication is fine. So now that is communication is fine. Let's go ahead and see the local Nagios etc objects commands.cfg file so in this you can see that so we already defined this check underscore ncpa um, command here so there is no need to define it again back so let's jump into the uh, servers location so where we are actually defining our servers configuration files so now windows 7 dot techarc dot local dot cfg file so i'm opening the new configuration file here so and i'm just copy pasted the configuration file from the github repository okay so now let's uh, replace this host names so which is windows service actually not the windows service our template name is service slash service dash tech ark it so replace that uh, service template name and replace the token value here so token value is windows password and replace it and again we have to add the host name here so the host name value should be added here so in place of host name it is xxx so just uh, replace with win7 dot techarkit dot local and global reset replacement now go back to the up and uh, change the IP address 192.168.29.203 and replace so now I'll say it so here you can see that the host group is specified as Windows dash server okay and uh, the template name is windows dash tech ark it okay so now it is done let's save this configuration file so yeah actually the contact name is not najos admin so the contact name is ravi so you have to replace that and the group name is also is not just not najos admin so we have to replace that is the admins 
so our group name is admins you have to replace that okay so now that is successfully replaced okay so there is a uh, interface name is team one but the interface name in the windows 7 is uh, local area connection so let's replace that one and uh, so there is an interface one more interface is there is it is zero and that is also is not correct so let's replace that interface also with the local area connection so we have corrected almost uh, all the settings we required for the configuration okay ip address is done and save this configuration and verify the nachos okay let's see could not find any host group matching with the windows server okay so let's see that so it is a spelling mistake that it's not windows server it's a windows servers so now let's again verify okay it looks good so now let's restart the nagios service and jump back to the uh, nagios console and see that uh, it looks like the host is saying that it's a down okay it might be a communication issue seems like it's a communication issue it's able to check the C drive but unable to ping the service okay let's jump into the server now let's jump into the machine and see uh, disable the firewall and see that should work okay change the settings and firewall okay it's on so that is the problem so turn off the firewall okay and let's Let's wait for a few minutes and see how it works you can see now it's still showing down so I found that there is a e drive is exist here but uh, there is no e drive on the configuration so let's uh, delete that configuration and restart the service again now go back to the console and refresh the console and see okay it looks good now you can see that the service is up C drive is showing good and the services are getting reported you can see uptime is also working fine that's it that's about it guys uh, thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses if you want to join the uh, whatsapp group the link is given below in the description click on the link and join the whatsapp group for connecting with more technical people